Um, Victoria, you used to be the Deputy Mayor of London, I mean, transport uh, across London, all the rest of it. When you stop this, when you reduce it, you literally affect your every man. So people mm. will be sitting there going, well, that's great. You know, your, your workers might want more money, your train drivers, your real uh, network riders, whatever. Why should I be stopped from going to work to help you achieve your aim? What do you think? Well, I have to say that I absolutely agree with Ellie May that in this country, we believe in having the right to strike because wouldn't it be an awful country if we w didn't have that freedom? So I absolutely concur there, but that's where, I d from then on, I disagree because I do not think that the union should be able to bring the whole rail system of this country to a halt. And I think the important thing is that we should sit down and mediate it. Yes, um, fortunately, the people in, in work are very fortunate and people need to be able to get to work. We just talked about the cost of living. We just talked about the difficulties that people are having. People must have that right of freedom of movement and that for some people is working and that for some people is doing other things. So I, I, I agree that people should have the right to strike, but I do not believe the union should have the power to bring the entire rail network to a standstill. So what would you do then? Would you have like, um, like a basic skeleton service that was forced to operate <coughs> during the strike? action? What? Well, during the Olympics, there was an additional fee paid so that everything continued to run. There must be other ways around. There must be some other compromise, some mediated solution where people can all get round the table and actually, more importantly, listen to each other and communicate and agree a way forward here. I, I believe there's many different ways of solving disputes and certainly I don't think a strike is necessarily the right way forward.